Hello everyone, this is Dumpster Collector with another action figure review and here we have the Marvel Legends Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney Plus Series US Agent here. So let's go over to packaging here so we get the Marvel Legends logo on the top there. Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney Plus Series on here. US Agent, here's the side art of US Agent. And then here's the top with nothing. Bottom with the DCPI. Here's the back with that same side art. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. You get the Marvel Legends logo on the top there. And then here we're building the Captain America's wings or Falcon's wings. So we get Scarlet Witch. We already went over White Vision, Loki. And then we're working on, we're going to uh, do Winter Soldier soon. U.S. Agent, which we're doing now. Baron Zemo, which we already did. And then we get Captain America or Falcon. But besides that, uh, we're going to crack them open because I'm on vacation here. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, the White Vision review, Baron Zemo or Loki. Uh, you should know this by now that I'm in vacation, so we're doing the transition over to a beachy background here, right now. And here's uh, U.S. Agent out of the packaging here, so I hope you guys are enjoying the background right now, like in the other videos. So let's go over the accessories for him. So first we get this other side of the wing that basically came from the opposite side with Baron Zemo. So we'll go over that once we build uh, Captain America's wings. And then he comes with these uh, fist and hands here, so you get these red uh, gloves for him, which look good. Like how they sculpted and padding around the inner part of the hands, and also like kind of the knuckles, you can kind of see them, not so well, but yeah. Um, but let's go over the figure now. That's what we got for accessories. So you get that helmet for him. If I remove, that don't look right. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just a cowl coming up. I thought that was a mispaint. Okay, that's a little something. That's the cowl coming up. Interesting. Okay, then. Um, so, yeah, here's the helmet for you. So, you get that, like, U.S. Agent Star or A for that top of the helmet, like Captain America did. But with this suit, I think in the movie, it was completely blanked out. The only thing that was showing was the wings here, the silver wings. And you get some red detail in there through the chin straps here. And you get the blue eyes for him. Kind of looks like, uh, what's his name? Wyatt Russell's face quite a bit. And then you get like that star there for uh, his chest here. And you get these red stripes. Another inaccurate thing about this figure is that it doesn't have the white stripes. Um, which I'll show you a picture here of the box. Uh, and he does have the white stripes on. Uh, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna repaint it so that way there's white there. Um, and then you get some red around the waist here, just like that. And then on the belt too, around the patch pouch there and there. And then you get the silver painted piece on the belt too with some more red. You get these red detailing around the pants here. You get these knee pads for them. And then here's the arms with the US uh, flag there on the shoulder with some more red detailing going down through the inner part of the arm. And then you get this gun holding hand for him. And then you get this like other hand for holding something. Um, then he's got these like forearm guards here. And then another thing that we all had a problem with with the other and with the uh, Deadpool figures, um, the movie ones at least. It has a gun in the holster, but you can't take the gun out. Why? Just give us a gun, and then uh, I don't know. It's so stupid how they do that. Uh, and then you get these boots here that looks really good. Uh, you get some more red detailing around the rims of the boots here. And you get these like treads here that look really good. So yeah. Uh, and then you get this great buckle here. But yeah, that's all we got for the looks. Let's go over the articulation. So his head is a ball joint. So his head can move down that far, up that far. He can look left and right. He has some head pivoting there, really good. Shoulders can move out past 90 degrees. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which they also don't have pinholes, which is nice. Uh, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch so you can go forward just that far, backwards quite a bit. He has a waist swivel that makes him go 360 rotation there. Legs can kick out that far, 
forward, that far, backwards just a little bit, thigh cut, double jointed knees, which they also don't have the pinholes, but they don't go quite as far. So he's a thick boy, apparently. Um, at least in the calves, it looks like. Yeah, calves are definitely big. Um, he has a uh, shin cut here, uh, ankles hinge up that far, down that far, and a nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's a US agent for you. There's some uh, inaccurate things than there was uh, in the show. Like the helmet was completely blacked out except for the wings. He didn't have that star A symbol on his helmet and there should have been white stripes there. But besides that, that's really it. Um, and then the holster, the gun holster thing. A lot of people are getting mad about that, especially at, like ever since the Deadpool figures, which was the first one that they did. So, um, stop doing that, Hasbro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the view in the background there. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys check out my Twitch at the Hunter Collector. I'm not, I'm out of town right now on vacation, so I'm not don't have my PlayStation, but still check it out. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. <laughs>